I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, because there's like a split second where my, it happens and you can see it on screen, but my brain hasn't registered what happened yet. And then the tears well up. Oh yeah, Bert did that. He almost slid off again um, about a week ago. I wasn't streaming, but like he jumped up and he slid and caught himself with a couple inches left to spare. Okay, good. Oh yeah, he has. It used to be. Bert just had like one spot on his back to where if he scratched that, he would start looking just like ridiculously and nonstop. But now you can pet almost anywhere along his spine and he does it. I can't tell if it's something that he enjoys or if he doesn't like it. So I never know if I should pet his back or scratch it. It happens the most um, when I brush them. I skip both skips. We got both of the skips. That's true. But like, I've looked it up and apparently there's no, um, there's no like reason that I guess like scientists have figured out for why that happens. Because it's not a super uncommon thing. I know people whose cats have done... Uh, basically the same thing. Although never to the extent that Bert does. Bert's all about the belly rubs. Oliver is sometimes, but he likes head scratches the most.
really protective of his feet, huh? Flashing the gang signs. What up, bird? I felt really bad for them, both my cats, um, this past week, because I was visiting my parents, and they live a ways away, so anytime I visit them for an extended amount of time, I take my cats, and I was there for two or three nights, and uh, they've been in the process of moving for a while, and they did, like, the main part of it. Like, all of the really big items they did uh, on Wednesday, no, Thursday, and I got there Wednesday evening. Like, all day Thursday, they were moving all the big stuff, um, and both of them the boys are pretty skittish around strangers. It takes them a while to open up to people. And they were just losing their minds trying to run away from all the movers. And every time they'd hide, the place that they were hiding would get picked up and carried away. So they were not having a good time. And I got down to where the only piece of furniture that was left after the movers were done was this one chair downstairs. Um, and at this point in the day, everything else had been moved except for two couches and that chair. And Bert was on that chair and he was like kind of freaking out but he felt safe. And Oliver was underneath one of those couches. And the movers walk up, and I'm trying to like coax Oliver out from under it so that he's not in their way or they don't accidentally step on them when they're moving that couch. But he won't come out. So Wow, that was really close. Um, he won't come out, so I'm just like, fuck it. You're just gonna get really jumpy when uh, they pick up the couch. So they take the cushions off of it, and the place where my cats stay at my parents' house was upstairs. And this was downstairs, because all the furniture upstairs was gone. So they pick up the couch, and he goes bolting out from under it. And he wants to go upstairs, but the bottom steps are blocked by the cushions that they took off so that they, like the couch wouldn't be as cumbersome when they were moving it. So he can't get around the cushions to get upstairs. So he starts freaking out and running in circles. 
and he runs into one room and there's nothing for him to hide under so he runs into another room and I see him out of the corner of my eye because he took off so fast that he was really hard to keep up with and he's trying to like squeeze under this other couch but it's a lot lower to the ground than the one that he was originally under was so he only manages to get like one paw in his head under it felt so bad because like when I finally picked him up and started taking him upstairs his heart was racing and for the rest of the time we were there anytime he would see someone he would run and hide which is really unlike him because he would even hide from me and then when we got back here he was so happy But it's so funny the, the different ways that Bert and Oliver react to things scaring them because if something scares Oliver in the slightest, he's going to run. Like he's going to run and hide somewhere and he's going to be able to find a place to hide that's going to be really hard for someone to get him. Whenever Bert gets scared, he just like tenses up and he's just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Please just nobody notice me. No one pay attention to me, please. I don't want to move. Like he just sit, he stays in the exact same position, but he looks really nervous and scared the whole time. All right, I'll give it a listen um, after this runs over. can't come out on that side of the door because I don't have anything to get through it with. I have to hit the loading zone for it. That was a big time loss, but stop shooting me. I didn't do anything to you.
at full health? Almost. I will be now. Damn, yeah, go to sleep. Oh shit. <laughs> I ran into some fire. Thanks for tuning in though. I always forget about the time difference. Nope, not far enough. Alright, these guys need to come a little closer. Damn, damn, damn. Yay! Finally! Been a while since we did a frog skip. That out of bounds makes no sense. I don't know why that happens. You didn't die! I saved that much time even with that massive time loss. Off to the west. Might have been too early. What? That was super weird. Happy heart attack. No, this is the good kind of heart attack. I 
Okay. I always take so much damage through there. I, I guess I could get better at dodging wolves, but that seems really difficult. It comes out the 26th of this month. Not really sure where I was going. Initially, I started walking off to the left. Damn, I guess they were... It was just kind of at the point where it's like, well, we're almost... I guess we're done. <clears throat> and they're not really responsible to anyone for a release date. They can just release it whenever they want. They don't have to worry about physical copies or anything like that. Wow, died immediately! I don't really know the route through the Out of Bounds here. Which is kind of a problem. I thought you could just go straight to it. I thought wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong, Bert. How much health do I have? Two. Basically enough to be killed by almost anything. there was a med pack somewhere in here. Or if there is, I wish I knew where it was. I bet there is somewhere. Alright, I still need to grab a, another shard. I always forget that I don't actually have to smack that open. I'm just gonna have to play without sound for the rest of this run because I took too long.
Can y'all still hear it? Because I turned off audio other than my microphone. So you shouldn't be able to. have any like audio cues for this game otherwise be pretty hard to do Bert you should sing to them so that they have something to listen to and you have such a beautiful voice. That's like the first time I haven't run smack into the center of that turret. I do that more often than not, and then it shoots me in the face, point blank. Oops. I didn't know that I actually had to pick that up to move. This is probably my least favorite part of the run. This room in the boss fight. Ooh, that was close. waiting on her to come where I can actually hit her. That was a really bad fight, but I didn't die, so that's an important part. Didn't die to the boss, and I haven't died yet to this horrible, horrible ringing noise in my ears. That never, ever, ever stops.
sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Alright, I'm at full health, so... Don't have to go get that health back. That part's always really tense for me, because I never know if they're actually going to make it around the corner. so that they're all on the other side of that. <clears throat> I meant to do it after I pulled this out of the ground, but oh well. But I reloaded so that all those enemies reset and weren't like crowding around me. Oh, this is going to be difficult because I don't have an audio cue. I guess there are parts that have those. For sure. Don't have to worry about the ringing because I already triggered it. get at planking, so this boss can give me some trouble. As far as me, like, one-cycling everything. Here we go, let's go. Shouldn't need more than one health pack, but I would rather lose a few seconds getting extra health than lose the run.
Wow, this cycle was really bad. Damn it! Oh my god. Ugh, that was terrible. And I had one piece of health left. Wow, I'm really glad that I actually got all those. Stop coughing! This should still be sub 38. Yeah. Cool! 3740.